are currently experimenting with this wind turbine. So you can see here, this is also rated at 300 watts. We're not entirely sure what we're going to be doing with this. It's on this temporary pole here. However, we have got this much longer pole down here, and it's going to go all the way up onto the corner of the roof there. Okay, so you can see here we're drilling the holes in the brackets, um, which are going to mount it on the wall. So while we're going through this, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the, uh, the whole system. So the windmill is rated at 300 watts, um, we're not going to get that, just realistically. And it's going into our solar system and running, ch helping charge the batteries there. So if you want to know how all of that works, check the previous video, I'll put a card at the end of the at the end of this one um, to show you and then you can look at what this is powering until then we're going to get this on the wall and keep get, keep going right so we've got the uh, brackets to hold the pole so we've just got a bit of pvc as a space holder in there um, and then it's just these hand railing brackets and then we've had to put them on some spaces to get them a bit further out from the wall and then we've welded up this one i haven't done welding in a while so it's not amazing but well that's fine so you got three main braces and then a bottom foot. They all go on the pole and hold the windmill. All right, we've jumped forward a bit because it's been a royal pain, but we've got the top bracket bolted into the wall. And then we're just about to screw the bottom one in. It's just sitting there for now. We've lost left one down here just to sort of stabilize it. But we're gonna cut the pole probably about where that vent is. And we've still got to slide it right up yet and get the windmill on the top. We'll use like a jack for that. That first one was a royal pain, but it should be a bit easier on this next one. This is probably going to be the cable we're going to use just to go from the windmill. Just a bit of 110 volt. These are the wall anchors we're using, so they've got a nut on the end. Then as you do that up, it pulls this bit, like this wedge-shaped bit in, and it causes this, the metal to spleen out. So if I do it up, you can see how that gap's getting wider. So yeah, now it's wider at that end, and the tighter you do it up, the more out it comes. So there's... Um, on the brackets it's this bit of box section and then that bolt goes through like that obviously on this side here and then the brackets there are bolted to the bit of metal there right that's all the brackets on so what we've got to do now drop the pole down Drill a little hole right in the top uh, for to put a pin through to support the weight of the cable. Um, then we got to put the windmill back on the top and make the connect. We'll probably make the connections down here, then pull the cable through, put the windmill on, and then push it right back up to the top somehow and do it up, and we'll be done. Final connection has been made. Cables all the way going up. We're just doing a quick bit of mounting, and then it's ready to go. So we got to do is feed this through as it's being lifted up. There's the other end here. We're gonna get it mounted on. We're gonna put the blades on, then we're gonna lift it the rest of the way up somehow. Okay, it's got dark now, but it's up there. What we did is we have, we put it on there and then we had to lift it. But to lift it, it's a bit janky, but we had this car jack and then one of my light truss stands going up and resting it on the bottom of the pole up there and then we we would jack it up make the pole a bit longer jack it up make it a bit longer and just keep going through that process until it's there we're now going to put the bracket on and then drop the pole back down into the bracket a little bit well it's up there it's gone dark now but um yeah there it is okay so it's going quite well now the, uh, it's actually spinning extremely fast, just the camera's making it look like it isn't. Um, I had it for a couple of days now, it's going well. I think we might need to put a bigger fin on it because it doesn't really work very well. You can see it's moving around quite a lot. 
But if we go into the shed, you can come and have a look here. The wind is just gone, so it's not doing... Oh, no, there you go. A couple of watts there. It has to be spinning quite fast for it to do anything, but when it does go, it goes quite well. So you can see um, 3.84 amps peak. 3.84 amps peak. And then that's your volts max. And then uh, as it, it will scroll through, there you go. Watts peak. 50 watts is the most we've got out of it so far. And one zero point one five eight amp hour, which obviously is not a lot, which is uh, so yeah, ten watt hour, um, for about a week's worth of operation, maybe uh no, maybe a bit lower than that. But yeah, it is not amazing, especially considering it's advertised at three hundred watt, but fifty watts for a couple of seconds every now and again is better than nothing. So but yeah, there we go. Alright, so this is going to conclude that video. Um, we've had the windmill installed for a couple of days now. The pole has held up really well. The brackets have worked just as we intended. We thought we might have a vibration issue in inside, but um, I don't think we do so far. Um, we haven't had much wind since it's installed, but we've had enough to see what it's doing. So if I uh, come in here, it's gone up now. So our, the maximum we've had is 55 watts. No, it's just gone. Um, so we've done 0 0.3 amp hours, which again isn't a lot, but not too bad, it's better than nothing. The solar has been working really well, if you haven't seen the video I've made on that, go and check it out. Um, but like I say, that's going to conclude this video, thanks for watching, I will see you next Tuesday.